Hello and welcome back Burn Bright readers. I am Krista. Today I'm going to be talking about The Hollowed Ones by Laura Bickle. This book was published September 25th of 2012 by Mifflin Harcourt. Katie is on the verge of Rumspringa, the time in the Amish life where the teens get to experience the taste of the real world. But the real world comes to her in this dystopian tale with a philosophical bend. Rumors of massive unrest in the outside abound. Something murderous is out there. The Amish elders make one rule. Nobody goes outside and nobody from the outside comes in. But when Katie finds a gravely injured young man, she can't leave him outside to die. She smuggles him into her family's barn, but at what cost to her and her community? I loved the author's approach to this book with the Amish community setting and these dangerous creatures that are, that are taking over the outside world and how they have not affected her in her Amish community as of yet. We start off the book with an event that happens and it kind of amps up the suspense that continues throughout the story. We never quite really get to realize what the creatures are on the outside until very late into the book. We only hear very little rumors and what we do know is that they are, these creatures are causing mass destruction and when they do start making their first explorations out to kind of see what's happening in their local town. Um, they find it barren. Everybody is gone. There is some destruction um, to the buildings. Just everybody has seemed to disappear. They're getting very little as far as what's happening on the radio as they're an Amish community. You know, they don't really have radios or technology in their city. So what they have to go on is just very loosely based on the very little that they do have. There is a woman from the outside that was visiting that day. She gets some cell phone service and she gets a little bit of details here and there um, about what's going on. And then when things start going downhill, everybody is um, judged at that time to, to figure out who exactly is bringing this upon them. Uh, the Amish people uh, in the believe they are doing something right because this terrible thing has not taken over their village yet. So far they have become unscathed by what's happening on the outside. You can see you can see why the elders have set set down such strong regulations against their community about going on the outside or having any dealings on what is happening with the outside. Uh, they believed that their religion is the correct one because they have not been uh, damaged by whatever the rest of the population has been dealing with. So they um, adhere strictly to their rules and even bear down harder um, on their regulations and follow things very strictly because they believe that that is what is saving them. So we have Katie. She hasn't gone through all of the um, steps that an Amish child should before she decides that she is only going to live the religion and stay in the community for the rest of life. Rung Springa is when she gets to go out and experience things on the outside before she makes that final decision to her community. So we see this internal struggle with Katie throughout the whole book on not exactly knowing if this is the community or the people that she wants to spend the rest of her life with, even though her family and everybody that she knows is there, she was raised in the religion, uh, she is still very unsure if it's what was meant for her. And she was hoping that the Rum Springa adventure would be the thing that got her to decide, which it usually is, on what she wants to do with the rest of her life. So we see this internal struggle with Katie through the whole book um, against what the elders are saying, her parents are saying, especially when she comes across Alex, who is the young man that she sees across the uh, gate. Uh, in the meantime, she doesn't have the things that she needs to take care of him without traveling to the town. So here we go with her breaking more than one rule and to benefit this boy, Alex. So she goes back into town to get the medication and the supplies that she needs. Also, she gets a battery for her friend's cell phone so she can stay in contact 
with the outside and with her husband and her family that's out, out, that's out there still and she doesn't know what's happened to them. When Katie goes outside to get the um, supplies that she needs for Alex, she does, we do get more of a feel for what exactly these creatures are. It's an amazingly tense story. You really don't know what's going to happen. You don't. The author is able to really get the reader engaged in to what Katie is going through. And a lot of us, you know, aren't familiar with the Amish and their, and their religion and how they live. We just get little bits and details so we know, like, the gist of it. So with this story, it's not really overwhelming. It's just the setting for the story. So we do get to learn uh, why certain things are they, that they are. Um, so why they don't go outside, how they run their community, a little bit on their religion and their families and how they live. But it's not really overwhelming. It's just the setting to the story so you can understand the laws of, that govern the community and why Katie has to act exactly, at, you know, as they ask. Everything is explained very well so that you can, can completely see where Katie is coming from. I, I really enjoyed getting to know Katie. You really do love her character and you do root for her and she has so much sympathy and empathy for other people. She has um, a want to learn more about the world before she shields herself off to that when she um, joins the church fully. So I think the author did a great job of balancing out um, the amount of, uh, you know, different aspects we get from the book, from the religion, to the scary creatures, and to the community itself, and how they interact with each other. I don't know if this is a series, but I sure hope it is, because I do not want this to be the end of her story. And the ending was powerful. It was, wow, I didn't, I didn't really realize that that is what was coming at the end, and I just, I, I love being su surprised like that. And I thought everything tied together perfectly, and it was just a great suspense story. And I really recommend this one. It was an awesome read. I really enjoyed it. If you really like suspense novels, um dark creatures, bloodthirsty creatures, and a little bit of a different setting with Amish. I I myself have not read a lot of Amish books, and so this was a great starter for me because it wasn't really overwhelming, but it has enough information in it that you can understand the society, their community, and how they run things. And um, I, I think it was a fantastic job. I gave it five stars. And if any of this sounds interesting to you, I re recommend that you pick this one up. Thanks for stopping by.